With the introduction of Symphony Plus, cleaning a follet ice and water dispenser has never been faster or easier. Complete instructions can be found in the manual packed with the equipment. You can also access the most up-to-date information online at folletice.com or through the QR code under the dispenser cover. Complete cleaning instructions are on the inside of the front cover. As always, if you have questions or need assistance, feel free to contact Follett Technical Support seven days a week from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. or visit our website for the latest product information. My name is Ernie Taroff. I am the National Technical Sales Support Manager for the Healthcare Division. This cleaning procedure should be performed by a trained maintenance technician or by a Follett authorized service provider at least every six months or more often if the environment or the water quality dictates more frequent attention. Here is a list of the materials required. Be sure to wear rubber gloves and safety goggles or a face shield for protection when handling cleaner or sanitizer mixtures. Use only these Follett approved cleaners and sanitizers. They are available online at folletice.com slash parts online or by calling our parts department at 877-612-5086. We will descale, clean, and sanitize a Model 25 CI 425A countertop dispenser. 25, 50, and 110 models all have the same modular removable ice machine. We will then take a look at the differences required to clean a 12CI 425A dispenser with an integral ice machine. Cleaning is a four-step process. Clean and descale the ice machine. Clean the dispenser. Sanitize the ice machine. And sanitize the dispenser. The ice machine is located behind the splash panel. Remove the front cover. Turn off the bin signal switch. All of the ice should be dispensed and discarded. Do not put any of this ice back into the ice storage bin after the procedure is complete. Turn off the dispenser power. Always turn off dispenser power before cleaning or removing parts from the ice storage hopper. Remove the dispense chutes, the water dispense tube, and then the splash panel by removing the screws found at each corner. The splash panel can be moved out of the way by turning off the water feed on the right side and disconnecting the water line from the water dispense solenoid. The water valve on the left must remain open for the cleaning and sanitizing of the evaporator. Inspect the drain cup and check the drain pan drain line to ensure they are open and water can flow freely. This prevents potential water overflow during the semi-automatic cleaning. Start the semi-automatic cleaning cycle by pressing the clean switch. The maintenance light will come on and the water system drains. Following the manufacturer's instructions, mix one seven ounce packet of Follett Safe Clean Ice Machine Cleaner and Descaler with one gallon of water that is at least 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Locate the cleaning cup and remove the lid. When the low water light comes on, elevate the cleaning cup above the water reservoir. Slowly add solution to the cup until the solution is going through the overflow tube to the evaporator drain pan. Verify that the cleaner full light turns on. Replace the cup lid. The ice machine will start the cleaning cycle, then rinse three times. This process takes approximately 15 minutes. The dispenser can be cleaned while the ice machine completes cleaning and descaling. Immerse the dispense chute, water dispense tube, and the drain pan grill in the cleaning solution. 
Remove the lid by removing the knurled screws at each corner of the lid. Remove the baffle by taking off the two knurled nuts on the front of the hopper. The dispense wheel is removed with the knurled screw on top of the wheel. Collect and remove any remaining ice. Thoroughness is key to a successful cleaning. The hopper drain line can be cleaned with a 3 quarter inch bottle brush. Wipe each of the component surfaces with the safe clean solution. Spraying the solution is not effective. Use only a soft cloth to avoid damage to surfaces. Do not use abrasive products such as scouring pads. To complete dispenser cleaning, use a damp cloth with fresh water to rinse all surfaces thoroughly. Be careful not to damage the ice dispense motor by allowing excess water to run down the motor shaft hole at the bottom of the hopper. After approximately 15 minutes, the maintenance light will turn off, indicating the ice machine has finished cleaning and descaling. Pour remaining cleaning solution into the drain pan. Sanitizing is necessary to provide high quality sanitary ice. Sanitizing removes undesirable and potentially harmful microbial growth from the ice machine. Mix the sanitizing solutions per the manufacturer's instructions. Use 1.6 ounces of Nucalgon IMS2 sanitizer with one gallon of water that is at least 100 degrees Fahrenheit. The remaining steps to sanitize the ice machine are the same as the steps used to clean the ice machine. Simply repeat the process using the sanitizing solution in place of the cleaning solution. Sanitize the hopper drain line by dipping a clean 3 quarter inch bottle brush into the sanitizing solution and running it through the drain fitting into the drain line. You can use the 15 minute cycle time to sanitize the dispenser. Use a soft cloth that won't damage surfaces. Do not use abrasive products such as scouring pads. Dip, wring out, and wipe down each of the dispenser components with the sanitizing solution. Reinstall each of the dispenser components without rinsing. This treatment keeps surfaces sanitary during reassembly. When reinstalling the baffle, first secure the baffle in place loosely. Place a clean 1 16th inch spacer between the baffle and the dispense wheel. Tighten the knurled nuts securely, then remove the spacer. Recheck the clearance. By now the dispenser should have completed sanitizing. Verify the maintenance light is off. The procedure for sanitizing the ice transport tube can be made easier by sliding the ice machine partially out of the dispenser. If this is the first time the module is being pulled out, you will need to remove this shipping securement screw from the base of the ice maker. You can discard the screw since it is only needed for shipping. Turn the water shutoff valve on the left side of the cabinet off. Before disconnecting the drain lines, verify that the hopper is completely empty to avoid water spillage. To remove the drain cup assembly, start by pulling all drain lines out of the lid. Then loosen, without removing, the Phillips head screw in the bracket. Lift the edge of the evaporator drain pan and slide the entire assembly out. Place the cup assembly into the sanitizing solution. Use a 3 quarter inch bottle brush to clean the drain pan drain line from the connection at the drain cup and then from the connection at the drain pan. The hopper drain line should also be removed and placed into the sanitizing solution at this time. Disconnect the water supply line 
from the T of the water supply line. You can now slide the ice maker out to gain access to the evaporator and ice compression nozzle. We can now clean the ice transport tube and nozzle by removing the insulation from the top of the evaporator and then the ice compression nozzle by loosening the compression nozzle screw two turns then sliding the nozzle off of the evaporator outlet port. Thoroughly saturate one sandy sponge in the sanitizing solution and insert it into the ice compression nozzle. Insert a second dry sandy sponge into the nozzle. Slide the ice compression nozzle back onto the evaporator outlet port and tighten the compression nozzle screw. Check that the ice compression nozzle drain line is still connected to the bottom of the nozzle and the opposite end is connected to the reservoir. Verify that the vent tube is still connected to the top of the nozzle and is secured in the evaporator drain pan bracket. Reinstall the insulation and slide the module back into the dispenser. Pour the remaining sanitizing solution into the drain pan. Reconnect the water line to the T. Reinstall the hopper drain line. Remove the drain cup assembly from the cleaning solution. Support the drain line and insert the outlet port at the bottom of the cup into the drain line. Ensure that the port is seated firmly. Raise the evaporator drain pan and slide the mounting bracket under the Phillips head screw. Tighten the screw to secure the mounting bracket to the base. Insert the remaining drain lines into the holes in the top of the cap, verifying that they are in place and secure. Turn the left water shutoff valve to the on position and check for leaks. Turn on the bin signal switch to start the ice machine. The ice machine will begin to make ice and push the sandy sponges into the hopper where you can collect and discard them. They should not be reused. Replace the hopper lid. Reconnect the water line on the right side of the dispenser cabinet to the water dispense solenoid valve and turn on the water, checking for leaks. Reattach the splash panel and the water dispense tube. Reattach the dispense chutes. Turn on dispenser power and replace the front cover. After 10 minutes, dispense all of the ice from the dispenser and discard. Although the cleaning procedure is the same, some of the parts are designed differently in the Compact 12 Series dispenser. We will show how to disassemble the unit and locate the key components required for cleaning. The cover is removed by pulling out at the bottom and lifting up to disengage. The cleaning cup and water reservoir are located on the right side of the cabinet. Turn off the bin signal switch. Remove the dispense chutes Disconnect the water line and then the splash panel with the four screws. The splash panel can be moved to the side. Remove the dispenser lid and the ice storage hopper lid. On the 12 series, do not turn off the power switch during the cleaning procedure. A safety switch turns off the dispense motor when accessing internal hopper components. The ice dispense wheel and baffle are removed by first unscrewing the knurled screw and taking out the locking plate. Next, unscrew the wing nuts and pull off the backing plate. Then remove the stud assembly and rotating agitator, the baffle, and the dispense wheel. 
When reinstalling the splash panel, be sure that the top of the panel is engaged behind the support bracket to ensure that any water drippage runs down the front of the panel. It is easier to reinstall the front cover of the dispenser by first installing the cover, then the dispenser lid. Proper preventive maintenance is the best way to assure reliable equipment performance and a consistent supply of fresh sanitary ice. If you need additional information or have questions about this cleaning procedure, contact Fala Technical Support at 877-612-5086.